Let's talk about amputee football. It's taken off in other countries, but not yet in Scotland. Well, that is about to change with a Scottish Cup announced for this summer. Its profile here rose after this remarkable goal by an amputee footballer. Half-time entertainment here. What a finish that is. Home advantage. Wolf, great half-time goal at Tannadice. And that has had millions of hits on the internet. Now, so far, there is only one club in Scotland, Partick Thistle, but we can reveal in timeline tonight that Hearts are to become the country's second amputee club as the sport tries to expand. Well, we're joined now by footballer Brian Murray and Ashley Reid, who's the director of the Amputee Football Association Scotland. Uh, Brian, first of all, how did you get into amputee football? Uh, just, I found it out in a magazine at the local hospital that I go to, um, and I contacted the English FA, to, so the English league, to see if there was anything in Scotland, but there was nothing, so about a year later they invited me down to play in a cup game, so that's how I got into it. And had you always been good at, at football before your before, amputation? Yeah, I mean, I've obviously, before I lost my leg when I was 10 to cancer, and before that I used to be a fo play football, so um, I was always into football, so, and even after I lost my leg I used to play with crutches with my friends and things like that, so it was only later on I sort of stopped playing. And you, you were playing uh, amputee football for Everton. Yeah, I was playing for Everton. What made yeah. you back to Scotland? Um, we wanted to bring it into Scotland. So in February last year, we done a little taster session at Annan Athletic. And um, from there, we got four or five players. And now we're up to about 15, 16. So, you know, it's grown. So this is why we wanted, to, we wanted a Scottish team. So have you got a Scottish team now, Ashley? Well, we launched with Partick Thistle Community Trust. We hooked up with them. Um, I could see there was an appetite for the sport. Um, obviously, Brian did the taster session at Annan and has been sort of instrumental in helping us uh, form Amputee Football Association Scotland. And we've got it going with Partick Thistle. We've now got a full team. We've got 15 or 16 players, although it's played seven aside. And obviously, now we're taking it over to the east. And hopefully, after that, we'll take it north and then south. So how many clubs do you need to get involved to have the Scottish Cup? Well, really, we will probably do East versus West for the first Scottish Cup, but ultimately what we aim to do is create a league in Scotland akin to that, that which they have south of the border in England, where a lot of the Premiership clubs have an amputee football team. Can any amputee play? Get it, get it, get yes, get it, get it. yep. Upper or lower limb yeah. amputee. Yeah, upper or lower. Yep. But are there, are there rules about that? Because I know in, in the Paralympics there are all sorts of different categories depending on the, the nature of... Of your I mean, if you, if you play in, in, internationally, you have to play, outfield players have to play in crutches with just the one leg. And obviously, they're only allowed to kick the ball with their good leg if they touch the oh, ball. Oh, I see, so you can get yeah. penalised if yeah, you... Yeah, if, if they touch the ball at all with the, with the part of their leg that's left on the other side, it's, it's a free kick. So. What do you get out of it? For me, uh, it's confidence. And, you know, it's really, my confidence has really grown since I've started playing amputee football. You know, even to come about like this, you know, go about with just the one leg, that's, that's what it's given to me. Um, I love football, and for me, this is just like a dream come true. So, yeah. Actually, football is full of money, and there's a lot of talk about that uh, now. Yes. Are the mainstream clubs and, and organisations willing to put some of it your way to help develop the game? Well, I hope so. We'll be looking for that. Um, the SFA has been very, very supportive, um, which is wonderful. We, uh, I initially went to them and said, look, I think there's an, there's an appetite for amputee football in Scotland, so I want to launch this charity. And we obviously got a lot of help from Partick Thistle Community Trust to, to make that happen, and the SFA have been right behind us. So ideally with their endorsement and going out to clubs out there who, you know, Really, a lot of the Scottish clubs have fantastic disability sports um, facilities going on. If we can get them to embrace amputee football as well, then we'll be winning. Ashley, Brian, thanks both very much indeed for coming. Thank Good you. luck with it as well.